Namaskar students today we will uh, run the sql queries that we have learned so far so just enter in my password okay this one starting we started before creating in database let's just see what are the databases present so for that we will use the query show databases okay so these are the databases present already present so let us just drop one database because you know I want to create one database and uh, show. Okay, so I've dropped. Now let's just once more see show databases. So you'll see the school is no more there. Here the school was there. I've dropped this database and so school is no more there. Now I'll again start from create again. Okay? So create database school. Alright this database is done now all the working will be with this database school right so let's use this in that's use school okay. use data use school yeah so database school will be used from now on okay now let's create a table under the database school Okay, create table says student. Okay. Let the first field be student ID. Let it be integer data type. Okay. Let me put constraints not null and this particular field student ID. Let it be primary key. Okay, so I mentioned the primary key constraint. Next field is student name. Let the data type be care, say 20. Let this also be, let this be unique. Okay? And also not none. Then let's say the next is student class. Let this one be integer type. The last one will be grade. table is made now let's see the table that we have to only the table structure is made so let's see it describe the table student describe student so this is you can see the table is created student id student name student class grade student id is integer because i do not put any size it is automatically taken as 11 over here also automatically taken as 11 you will see i have put a uh, unique uh, I'm not null to student ID and student name because of which under null you can see no no written so it cannot be null. Student name is primary key so it's written PRI. Student name I've mentioned as unique so UNI is written okay. Now let's insert value into the table. Insert into student values. What values according to so first is integer let's put one next is name let me put it since it's a character so we have to insert it within the quotations okay quotes so let the name be say abhishek okay then the next is class so class was also a number integer let's be 12 then grade grade is character so let me put in quotes Say A2. Okay. Let's close it. So one row is made. Let me make one more row to show you how this unique works. Okay. So you will see that student name I've written is unique. So if you try to write same Abhishek name, it will show an error. So since the primary key, I need to change the value of the primary key will be 2. But Abhishek, I will see what is the error shown. You see, it's written duplicate entry Abhishek. Why? Because it was a unique. So, duplicate entry is not being taken. Okay. So, let me just change Abhishek into something else. Say, Abhishek, avoid 
say okay so now it's been taken let's see so next stop in student helps you to see what you've created so this is based one abhishek abhishek roy student class 12 and grade is 8 okay so till here we have learned about this create and insert okay now i'll just show you two more that is trunket trunket student we did earlier trunket what does it do it only deletes the content okay so if i use trunket what will happen the the data is deleted so the data is deleted so now how to check it if you once more go for select you see that it's a empty set because i've truncated but if you go to describe you see the table is still there why because the table is not deleted but if you go for drop student sorry if you go for drop table student then after that if you go to describe student you will see that the table is no more there okay doesn't exist so understood the difference between drop and truncate i suppose drop and truncate okay this is the drop one the syntax correct it is drop table student to try this keyword table okay i just missed out over here it was a error that time drop table student and for truncate it is simply truncate and the table name okay so what what you will write over here the syntax that you will write over here is create okay then you will go for use then is yeah you are creating the table okay and describing the table then insert the values into the table then go for the selection of the entire thing in the table trunk it for deleting the contents of the table describe uh, sorry after that you have to go to uh, yeah after trunk it just check once to see whether it's deleted or not so these are the ones that you have to draw over here right okay the, uh, those these are the things that you have to write in the copies these are the syntax is like i mean syntax that's why i have i have highlighted it okay and then the last one that you have to copy is this one drop the table this is the correct syntax drop the drop table student and after that you just check once more whether it's dropped or not by describing and you see that it does not exist okay so today all those syntaxes you've done the ones that i've highlighted please do copy those syntaxes and also see the outputs that is given alongside okay so today till uh, so far we've done these syntaxes okay children i'm sure